United Auto Workers' Yule President Sean Fain slammed former President Trump in a Wednesday speech, announcing the union's endorsement of President Biden, calling the Republican front-runner a scab. Donald Trump is a scab, Fain said, prompting applause from union members. Donald Trump is a billionaire, and that is who he represents. If Donald Trump ever worked in an auto plant, he wouldn't be a Yule member, he would be a company man trying to squeeze the American worker. Donald Trump stands against everything we stand for as a union, as a society, Fain continued. When you go back to our core issues, wages, retirement, health care, and our time, that's what this election is about. Fain announced the union's support for Biden at a conference in Washington, D.C., as he introduced the president to deliver remarks. He cited Biden's solidarity with the Yule during its recent strike against major automakers. This election is about who will stand up with us and who will stand in our way. Fain said of a likely 2020 presidential rematch between Biden and Trump. Those are the questions that will win or lose this election and will decide our fate, he said. Those are the questions that will determine the future of our country and the fate of the working class. In his announcement, Fain pointed to several examples dating back to the August 2007 recession, in which Biden stood with autoworkers. He also slammed Trump's criticisms of the union. The Yule previously withheld its endorsement from Biden, despite historically supporting Democratic candidates and previously endorsing him in 2020. Fain had voiced concerns about the Biden administration in the past over its policies regarding electric vehicles. Biden joined Yule workers on the picket line after they walked out on the three major U.S. automakers Ford, General Motors and Stellantis last fall. He has dubbed himself the most pro-union president in history. In September, Trump skipped out on the second GOP primary debate and instead joined the striking autoworkers in Detroit in hopes of appealing to union workers who are critical to Biden's voting base.